Hello and welcome to another VecDeasy video tutorial. My name is Rick and today we're going to be learning about the various graphic file types. To begin, there are two basic file types, bitmap and vector. A bitmap graphic uses pixels and is a set size and set resolution. If you attempt to enlarge a bitmap image, it will distort. And once a bitmap image is exported, its elements can no longer be edited. A vector graphic, though, is different in that it does not use pixels nor a set size and resolution. In fact, it can be scaled to any size and resolution without distortion since it's simply a collection of shapes used to draw the image. And you can even edit the image as needed in vector editing software such as Illustrator or Inkscape. Let's start by looking at the various vector file formats and when and where you should use them. The first format is the AI format, and it's Adobe's native file format. It cannot be read completely in other applications, so only use this format if you're using Adobe Illustrator. The EPS format, which stands for Encapsulated Postscript, is probably the most popular and widely used vector file format. The EPS format is a great choice for saving vector images that will be accessed in a wide variety of apps with little complication. To edit EPS files, you'll need to use apps like Illustrator or Inkscape. The SVG format, or Scalable Vector Graphics format, was introduced in 1999 and is mainly used for vector graphics displayed on the internet. While vector editing apps can read this format, it's recommended that SVG only be used to export and display a finalized image not one you necessarily plan to go back and edit later, as we would recommend using the EPS format for that. The last vector format we'll look at is the PDF format. PDF is one of the most commonly used document formats online, and one of the most compatible formats that can contain both vectors, bitmap images, and text. While many graphic applications can display a PDF file, editing a vector image within it still requires vector editing software. PDF files should be used when sharing finalized images, as it's the most compatible format allowing users to view vector-based images without special software that may be required to open an EPS or even an SVG file. Finally, let's look at the various bitmap file formats and when and where you should use them. The first format is the PSD format, and it's Adobe's native file format, and it cannot completely be read in other applications, so only use this format if you're using Adobe Photoshop. The PSD file can contain an image's layers and all the Photoshop-related details of the image. Use this format as your working format. The JPEG format, which stands for Joint Photographic Exports Group, was created in 1992 and is the most used image compression standard in the world. This is the format to use for final image distribution online as it's completely web safe. It's also the format most digital cameras use because of its large color palette and smaller file size due to its compression. Just remember, the level of compression you choose will impact the image's quality and appearance. The JPEG format does not support transparency. The GIF format, yes, I said GIF, but some also pronounce it as GIF, is a legacy format used mainly online during the early years of the Internet and is still web safe today. This format can only utilize 256 colors, compared to the millions of colors other formats store, so don't use this format for full color images. The GIF format can create a very low file size and it supports transparency. While this format can be viewed in browsers and most graphic design applications, it's not highly recommended unless you have a very specific purpose to use this format. The PNG format, or Portable Network Graphics format, is another popular format used online and is web safe. It offers maximum image quality and also supports transparency. This is the preferred format, in fact, if your image contains transparencies, since it does not have a 256 color limitation. Due to its image quality, over that of a compressed JPEG file, the format is also great for high quality image distribution and therefore has a larger file size. So there you have it, a quick look at popular graphic file formats. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and good luck on your creative journey.